Hello class, you are all welcome to today's class. My name is Ibrahim Nasu and I will be taking you on the topic gravitation and weightlessness. Gravitation and weightlessness objectives. So by the end of this class, students should be able to explain the concepts of gravitation and weightlessness, should be able to know the effects of gravitation on objects. Yes. A very long time ago, a scientist sat down under a mango tree and a mango fruit was falling. And he was now wondering why the mango fruit was falling down and not going up. And he now began to search and search around these questions. And finally, he came to a conclusion that there was a force responsible for such an action. And that force was the force of gravity. So what is gravitation? Gravitation, this is the force which pulls things thrown up towards the earth. That means when you throw a stone towards the earth, why don't the stone continue to go up? And after some time, you see that the stone start to fall down. What is the mystery behind that? And that's what we are talking about today. So gravitational force is the force that gives all objects their weight. The weight of an object is the force with which the earth pulls the object. And we say the scientist is named Isaac Newton. And he said the force of gravity or gravitational force exists between all bodies. So that means between you and your back, there is a force of gravity. Between your book and your pen, there is a force of gravity. Between your house and the house of your neighbor, there is a force of gravity. Between you and the tree you are sitting under, there is a force of gravity. But what happens that you don't feel it most of the time is because that force is negligible. That means the masses involved are not large. But in the case of the sun and the earth or the earth and the moon, these are large bodies and these effects are very, very profound in these objects. All right. So what is weightlessness? This is a condition that occurs in objects in fast circular motion when the centrifugal force is equal to the weight of the object. In this condition, the two forces are equal and opposite. And we say centripetal force is the force that makes a body moving with constant speed to remain in its circular motion and it's always directed toward the center of the cycle now what are the effects of gravitation on objects number one gravity causes objects to move for example a falling fruit from a tree yes we have talked about that one earlier Secondly, we say gravity provides an object revolving in a circular motion with centripetal force, especially large objects in space such as the moon. We move to the effect of weightlessness on human body. Number one, muscles lose their tune. That's muscle atrophy. Number two, bones become brittle. Number three, red blood cells may diminish. Now, when you are in space, your body doesn't have weight, weight and that is termed as weightlessness. The way you see the floor, that is how you see the ceiling. There is no any difference between the ceiling and the floor of your house in space. And what happens to the body? Because your body is used to the force of gravity holding the body or holding you on ground on your feet but in space it's a different case that that is why when you are in space as a scientist you have to exercise yourself for several hours in order to regain stability of your normal body functions right okay so we have come to the end of today's class but before we go we take the summary what is gravitation this is the force which pulls things thrown up towards the earth. And we said Isaac 
Isaac Newton said the force of gravity or gravitational force exists between all bodies. And we say weightlessness is a condition that occurs in objects in fast circular motion when the centripetal force is equal to the weight of the object. And we said both gravitation and weightlessness as effects. Now we have come to the end of today's class. But before we go, we take exercise. Alright? So number one, what is gravitation? Secondly, give two effects of gravitation. Number three, define weightlessness. And then finally, you name three effects of weightlessness in the body. Thank you very much for joining us, for your questions and your comments. Kindly send an email and we will respond promptly. See you next class.